Let's face it, I have a problem. Just like many of you, my kitchen is great, it serves its purpose, but the lighting under the cabinets is very dark and it's difficult to do your tasks without straining your eyes. So today on Matt's World DIY, I'm gonna show you how to install some under cabinet lighting that's LED, pretty affordable and easy to do. So let's get to it. I got these LED strip lights off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. They are good to put under your kitchen cabinets or in closets, and they are powered by your electrical system in your house so you don't have to worry about batteries and that kind of thing. So here we have just the user manual and it comes with a great little magnetic remote control that you can attach to your stove or your refrigerator. There's a little power block. And then this is some extenders as well as 3M stickers so you can manage your cables. And here are the LED strips. Now you can get this with just uh, two strips or three. I chose to get it with three because it will cover the area that I need. The they have these little attachments here where you can connect additional lengths of cable if you need or if you want to remove the center one. And then the USB connector clicks into the block and then that goes into the wall and that powers up your uh, lights. Here is the little controller that uh, you can use if you're not using the remote. These are the little puck lights that I had. They're battery operated, they change colors if you want, but I hated having to change out the batteries all the time because they use up batteries so quickly. It'll be nice not to have to worry about batteries anymore. And then I just removed the little mount. And then what I'm doing here is showing you that I want to drill a hole, yeah, I know, drilling a hole into my brand new cabinets that I installed through the bottom of the cabinet so the cable will come up and it's going to come out in the side wall of this cabinet because that's where my power is above the microwave. So let me clear out the area, take all the things off of the countertop and I wanna protect my stove and the surface and helps with cleanup as well by putting out this little moving quilt. It's really a wise decision to do that because you wanna protect and keep your area clean. Now I have to remove all the dishes from the cabinet. I didn't remove the dishes off the very, very top shelf, but you can't see that. I needed to find the largest bit I have, and that is a 3 8 inch bit, so I have to work with what I have. I need to drill something large enough that this USB connector will go through it, as well as the very thick controller. I'm going to definitely need something larger than 3 8 of an inch in order to get that controller through the cabinet wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to use my multi-tool where I'll uh, use that to finish off making a larger opening to fit the cable. So here I'm just doing a dry run here. I wanna make sure I have enough cable to reach the power source. So I just used the little residue that I had left on the bottom of the cabinet to hold the light. But then I decided let's just put it in here. And then it looks like the controller is gonna come just inside of the cabinet. Then the cord will go all the way up to the where the power source is and then over and it looks like it's gonna be just enough. It was a nervous thing for me to drill into my night cabinets but I knew what I had to do in order to get my goal achieved so what I did was I drilled two holes one near a second one and then I used my multi-tool to clear out the wood that was in between those two holes and then I, I chopped into it from the top and then I cleaned it out from the bottom as well and then I, now it was time for me to test to see if the opening was large enough. So the USB comes through fine, then it comes time for the controller. And wouldn't you know, it came through like a charm. I was so excited that I didn't have to make the thing any bigger. Now what I'm doing here is just using the top shelf to hold the cable in place while I try to fit everything the way I think it's going to work. And I drilled a hole through the side wall of the upper cabinets and the USB fit nicely through it. It's not, the opening's not too large and it's not too small either. And the um, cable comes around and it just fits. So I was super lucky. Now I just plugged the USB into the block, plugged it in, and now it's time to test to see if these guys still work. I tested it before I started but it does and it's beautiful, there is light. I'm already imagining at this point how nice it's gonna to be to have lighting under my cabinets, I cannot wait. So I put in the lower shelf and I found that 
it, there actually is enough room between the shelf and the side wall that I can move that cable a little bit. And I just turned the controller to make sure I had access. And now it's time to clean up. So I'm cleaning up all of this debris because I don't want to work in all this sawdust and stuff. So I took that out of the way. And then I wanted to look and see what kind of attachments I have. So we have this 3M sticker stuff that you put on the backside of the light so that you can attach it to the underside of the cabinet. You don't have to drill any holes and there's no screws involved. So that is wonderful. I think one of the hardest things was trying to remove the red backing off of this so you can have a sticky surface. Um, make sure also that you clean the underside of your cabinets of any kind of grease or grime so that you get good sticking uh, power of those stickers. Now, some people would say, no, you don't put that under your microwave. You don't put that over your stove. I did some research and I found that, yes, I can do it. It should not be a problem, but just in case I made sure that I put that center light closer to the back near the wall so there's no risk of melting the light or the cables. Now there's also these little clips that I'm using to control the cables so none of the cables are sagging and they're going in the direction that I want. There's also some cable channels that I could buy and I'll put a link for that in the description below so you can see how you can use that as well if that's what you choose. I put the dishes back and boom, there's light. Now these are great because you can change the color temperature, you can change the uh, how bright or dim they are. It's super awesome, wonderful. There's my little controller, I just stuck it to the side of the stove. My kitchen is so much brighter, so much lighter. My task lighting is perfect now. I don't have to about worry about working in the dark. If you like what you saw in this video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you'll get notifications as well. And as always, if you like this video, check out some of my other DIY projects I have on my DIY playlist. I'll see you next time.